Hey, last week we talked about building a holistic training plan, a comprehensive plan uh, for developing as a quarterback or any type of overhead athlete that's a thrower. Uh, the first one was building a holistic training plan, a physical training plan. Number two was having an intentional uh, throwing program, you know, obviously at different volumes throughout the year, um, in season maybe a little higher, off season a little bit lower, but then also being able to train. The third was intentionally eating breakfast, using breakfast as a jump start for your day so that we start every day fast. And then once we get out on the field, our cleats hit the grass, we're starting fast. The next one was sleeping, putting a ton of emphasis on sleeping, maximizing our environment and being consistent in the time we go to bed. And then the final one was uh, really putting a big em emphasis on hydrating, carrying a water bottle, hydrating every single day so that I don't ever have to play catch up. Today, I wanna to talk about um, a holistic training plan from the physical side, not necessarily uh, quarterback specific, but just an overall comprehensive holistic training plan in the physical area. The number one uh, section is we need to lift, okay? It doesn't need to be fancy. It doesn't need to be overly complex. It essentially needs to be uh, a program that has a variety of squats, hinges, pushes, pulls, some sort of carry. You know, ideally we'd like to have some things that have some dynamic type or ballistic type movements. Those could come in the form of Olympic lifts, plyometrics, med ball throws. Um, we need to lift. That's essentially gonna allow us to continue to develop a robust foundation for me to handle the demands of my position. Okay, so the next one, we need to run. We are athletes, we have our feet on the ground, we put force into the ground to move myself in a, in a given area. We need to run. Now our run could be categorized into speed work that has um, ex ex kind of an acceleration component. So short explosive runs where I put maximal force into the ground to start me off. It could be a little bit more top end speed where I'm lengthening it out and working on some high end speed, but I need to be able to sprint. Okay, that's gonna allow me to help translate what we're doing in the weight room out to the field. Sprinting is also a very, very precious quality, athletic quality, if you will, and I need to do this often, multiple times a week if I'm gonna continue to realize where I can go, but also to prevent injury. So when I get out on the field and I do sprint, I've already been there, so it's not new. Okay. Also with uh, our run, you know, change of direction, agility work, and then even conditioning. All this needs to be in our program to allow me to have a holistic program. Okay. And then the final thing, and I kind of mentioned it with, within the lift, we as a rotational athlete, whether I'm throwing a football, whether I'm hitting a tennis ball, whatever it may be, I need to be able to translate what I'm doing from this type of power development, if I'm pulling an Olympic lift or jumping, I'm going vertical, or horizontal from an acceleration, sprinting, throwing something this way, I need to be able to translate it into the rotational component. So it's really beneficial for us to have some sort of dynamic throws, whether it's med balls, whether it's implements, whatever it is, really projecting them out in a lot of different uh, directions. It can be throws vertically, it can be throws horizontally, it can be rotational throws. Whatever that looks like that fits complementary within our training program, that's really going to help us really take what we're doing in the weight room to what we're doing um, in the quarterback position. So, building a holistic program, keep it really, really simple. I essentially need to lift, I need to run, I need to throw. When I lift, I need to have multiple things like squats and hinges, pushes and pulls, some sort of carry or bracing. When I run, I should be able to run fast in the form of sprints multiple times a week. I can change direction and I need to work on some conditioning. And then finally, I, ideally for our position, we'd like to find some sort of way to throw med balls in different planes, vertically, horizontally, and rotationally.